Pops and Vixens, it's Little Vixen here, <clears throat> and welcome to episode number 33 of my playthrough of Pokemon Nebula. In the last episode, we took on the last two leaders of Unity Organization, so we took on Lysander and we took on Giovanni. So if you haven't gone and checked that episode out, please do before watching this one. Uh, in today's episode, we are going to be finding out who is actually in charge of the Unity Organization, as you can see. From this lovely thing, we have Anna and Lance here. So if hype for those episodes, please give me a big thumbs up on that like button down there. Comment and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Um, before we begin, I will give you guys a very quick team recap. So up first we have Anjin, our Drapion, with heavy duty boots. Poseidon, our Samurai, a level 94, holding that wave incense. Alaska, our Lilo Nine Tails, a level 97, holding that Nevermore Ice. Gengar at uh, level 104, the Gengarite, and nope. Then we have Arna, our Dracovish at level 93, holding that Mystic Water. And then last but not least, we have Sammy, our shiny Luxray, wearing that Rocky Helmet at level 97. So let's go and see what actually it says. We meet again, Father. So guess this. Wait, actually, that actually makes sense. Because we didn't actually battle get this. Well, if it isn't the freak without the human heart. How many times are you going to put the world at risk because of your dirty deeds? As long as it takes, our plans will be realized soon enough. Everyone will kneel to their new king. After the events of what happened in Unova, I was devastated, broken. A mere shadow of my former self until he came. What are you talking about? Who is he? Like the dude in the black coat. Who is he? I'm trying to think who else we missed. But I don't think we missed anybody else. Out of the leaders. My lord, he gave me a second chance and in exchange, I let my men serve him as he pleases. I kept a low profile since I joined the organization. I didn't want anyone to know about my special deal with my lord. Alright, that's it. Enough with the riddles. Why are you planning to get this? <laughs> I see you're intrigued to find out. Very well, allow me to enlighten you with the truth. Long ago, there was nothing but empty void in the universe until one day, an egg hatched and a Pokemon came out called Arceus. Never heard of this Pokemon before in Unova. Arceus was the first Pokemon who ever who created our world. That's right. Arceus creates any Pokemon and anything in the blink of an eye. And that is convenient for Unity, plus... It is the most powerful Pokemon. No, I wouldn't say powerful Pokemon. I don't get it. Isn't conquering Kanto 2.0 uh, is your objective? Silly fool, of course not. Our original plan was to capture Arceus. You must be kidding me. A Pokemon m such magnitude cannot be captured. Well, that's not true. It can be, and the only way it's powerful is if you have all the plates and you have to keep from changing them, so it's not really that powerful. Once again, we are one step ahead of you. Thanks to Dr. Chloris, we have the Dark Ball, which can capture any Pokemon we want. <clears throat> Even if you have that, Arceus is in another realm. No human alive traveled to his dimension. Wait, please tell me we're not traveling to Arceus' dimension here. Simpleton. As ever, do you think we left such an important detail? Look behind me. Yeah, we are. We're going to travel to Arceus' dimension. This is our portal that will take us where no man traveled before. We know that if we try to collect the tools for the portal, the Elite Four will stick their noses in our business. That's why we made a distraction. So you tricked us by having your grunts invade the region. That's right. While you guys were busy battling our men, other grunts were discreetly gathering the parts for the portal. <clears throat> While that remains, it's time for the portal to charge and then everything will change. What about your comrades? I'm sure they will have other plans for Arceus. They can't say anything because they were terminated by Giratina to the Distortion World. Ah, uh, so that's what that was. It was Giratina. <clears throat> you disposed of your own members in the other world. Why? Because failure is not an option for this organization. Besides, it was always my destiny to rule with an iron fist. The other leaders were unstable and unfit to rule, so I made a deal. 
I hope gets us to be the next unit of a king, and he helps me by making the portal. Give it up already. Soon enough I will be king, and I will ban anyone from capturing Pokemon because I will be the only trainer to wield such power. You're nothing but a hypocrite. Watch your tongue, boy. Believe that Pokemon shouldn't be captured, and yet you believe you're the only one who, who is allowed to use them? Pokemon are not slaves. They are our friends. We train together to become stronger. We take care of each other. We smile and cry together. <clears throat> Does it speak right? We make sure that our Pokemon are happy with us. You see, Gessus, you use Pokemon as tools, but for us, we fight with them as one. Enough of this. Pokemon are born to serve me, and power is the only thing that is dominant in this world. And if you don't believe it, make your precious champion battle me. Really? You want me to battle you? Like, really? I want to make sure there's nothing about for me to get before I go into this. Like, make sure there is nothing about which there isn't. You want me to battle you. Save the game. Because I don't know if it's gets us, we have to be at level 104, or Arceus, we have to be at level 104. Alright. Hey, uh, Pops and Vixens, we are back. I've done some leveling, um, and let's see if we can beat Gessus this time. I didn't do that much training, but you'll see what's what. Like, what's going on? Like, so he's Phantom Force this time, okay. Oh, Alaska, you are a beaut, like, living on one. I know your def special defense drop is right there now, though. No. Oh, we got the freeze. Hold out. Mission focus blast. Thank you. This might actually help somewhat. And frozen solid again. So I just use them all now, like I like how you have to like freezes like the things. I'm gonna freeze that time. I'm gonna run out of ice beams in a minute. Ah, oh, extra sensory isn't going to work, is it? You're a bloody dark type. Like, all that for, like, nothing. Thank you, like Stop for storing Oh my god. Like seriously you vote oh like And I know I should have some leopard berries as well. Right, 
Right, actually, you're phantom forcing, aren't you? So we'll go to bag a minute. Do I have some leopard berries? I do have leopard berries. This is ridiculous, I know. This four store back to back is. <laughs> Alright, this time around, I can't even get past your Veltor, like. This is very rather bad light right now. Just do that for a while. Like so just get yourself in like confusion a couple of times. Or still summer up. Thank you. Goodbye, you Voltel. Finally, like. Yes. I know what to do against Zygod. Zygarde is ice beamed. Yep, that's fine. You are ice beamed. Oh. oh, the poison did it. The Crosma. Pretty much just so I can heal up. Uh, ice beam. <laughs> ah! Okay. Okay, 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 fine. No, cross my nose. Stone edge. That's fine, because I can keep on actually reviving until, like... Um, because you can take stone edges, can't you, Arna? Poison damage. Uh, let's go for a scold. Right. Eternatus! <laughs> How the hell am I meant to deal with that thing? Poison dragon. Like... Oops. 
sword and toxic fucking spikes. Like, what am I meant to do against that thing? It's gonna Dynamax Cannon everything. Like, what is Eternity Sweet to? Like, I know it's Poison and Dragon. Eterna just he is he just didn't know he's going to he is poison dragon so I don't care about all this crap in the anime in the manga uh TCG nope game day I'll go away like special attacks please go away like Weak to ground, psychic, ice, and dragon, but I am also weak to bloody like. Wait, who have we just healed? We've just healed up somebody. Um, I don't know. Let's see who we've just healed up. Helmet was doing the damage then. So I'm going to go into Poseidon and go there, go there, go there. This is gonna go like this back and forth for a bit. Yeah, Sammy. So glad I actually put like the rocket helmet on him now. <sighs> so not I want an aqua jet, but that's not aqua jet damage like from a resisted move. Do it though. Don't want a poison move coming out of Alaska because that's not good. Or are you going to force store if I aqua jet? Because Aqua Jet is priority, it would have to go first. Ah, that's not like. You have recover! Alright, please, Poseidon. Why would you give this Pokemon recover for? Oh, 
this is just not on. Like the fact this Pokemon has recover is just not like this is ridiculous, like I'm actually gonna do it. I'm gonna go to Alaska, like it's when you can get impact. It's fine. No, I'm actually gonna ice beam. Like, that did nothing. That extra sensory because of the psychic type. Do not recover. Do a dummy whammy. Alright, confused and burnt now. Oh, look, I just pressed extrasensory. Nah. Come on, Sammy, I know you can crunch your way through this. Garatina. Yeah. Oh, that crit hit. Garatina. <laughs> Garatina down. What the hell am I meant to do against Kiram? I mean, I expected him to have it, but... Oh, it's that one. I don't know what you're weak to. I know your ice type. Oh, I, I actually I don't know what you are. K Y U. Kiram. So we got turn to stand to that. Uh, no, he's 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 all three of them. He's dragon and ice. So what is he weak to then? Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. In game data. Game data is what I want. Give it to me. Dragon ice, dragon ice, dragon ice. You are weak too. Fighting rock steel dragon fairy. Yeah, I'd rather have Alaska, like. Because your dragon moves then aren't going to hit me. Dragon moves, on the other hand, are going to hit, like. Oh, you ice beamed. Okay. I have no ice beams left. I don't think. No, I don't. I have one. Yeah, there's the fusion bolt. <laughs> Sammy, can we, like, just please help out here? I uh, don't use. I have an elixir, don't I? She's all of them on her. Yeah. Confuse Ray, please. Thank you. Not happy that was that was a fusion bolt and that did that much damage. Nah, you're just gonna carry on fusion bottom, aren't you? Ah. Uh.
I need him to. Come on, Summer. Take that, take that, yep, take that by all means. And just Aqua Jet for some damage, please. Thank you. It's a computer, right? Just come on. We can do this. Right. Kiram is down. Uh, the the Eternatus to come out. Eternatus is burnt though. Like. That's fine. You can come recover. I don't care. Like. I'm pretty much screwed here if it attacks. Come on. Uh, stop using recover. I'm gonna run out of everything. Oh, no, don't snap out from fusion either. How much PP is recover bloody got? Like, I have this in the bag. Oh, struggle. Oh, are we gonna... Am I gonna need enough of the struggle? Ah! I don't have anything, do I? This is all I really need to do. Because then it won't struggle. <laughs> oh my god! I took some doing. Well, I did it. The beat gets us. This can't be. I have a strong legendary Pokemon on my side. How can I be defeated? Giratina, I summon you. I get this. No, please, my lord, don't send me there. Failure this must be eliminated. All right, all of your henchmen are gone. No one can support you now. I don't need them after all the portal is about to open. Show us your true self, coward. Warren, I'll indulge you since this is the last time you're going to see me. But I'm very disappointed in you, Vixen. What's wrong? You can't recognize the man who gave you your first Pokemon? What? It was Oak! Oh my god! Wow! That's impossible! Professor Oak, but why? Because I'm done with this cursed cycle. What are you talking about? I'm talking about all the catastroph catastrophic events that happened because of thugs like Getsus and the others. How many times do we have to be the underdogs in every scenario? We're never the underdogs. Everyday Pokemon are born with different unique abilities to abuse. Everyday new gangs are threatening the future of mankind because of their selfish desires to rule the world. They have no idea what they're doing. So why on the earth are you helping them after all? Because I had no other choice. I needed Arceus to stop all the disasters that will happen afterwards. 
I was using them to have the portal ready so I can get to the realm and capture Arceus. I don't believe this. You're not the elk that I know. Will you stop thinking by the rules and start using your brain for a change? I wasn't going to allow those chaos manics to do anything with Arceus. So you sacrificed your own region to get what you want? There was no alternative path to me. For years I talked about why we must require Arceus, but no one believed me. This Pokemon can create and defend the Earth like no other can. Think about it. No more earthquakes, terrorists, or disasters. The world will, will live at peace if I just have its power. But there is something I don't understand. If you were the leader from the start, why were you telling us to where to find them? Easy. Because I want them to be overwhelmed enough while I build the portal. I was trying to get them busy as much as I can. They all want to rule the planet one way or the other. All of them were going towards Arceus. Not so sure more about this means she just wanted to be with her Ultra Beasts, not rule the world or anything. I was going to send those villains to the distortionate world either way when the portal was ready to open. Now all they have to do is go to Arceus' realm. Professor Oak, as the leader of the Elite Four, I hereby arresting you for the tre treachery of Canto 2.0. Uh, no one listens to me anymore. I did what I had to do to save our region. Despite time, desperate times call for desperate measures. Paul is already charged. Nothing will stop me now. What? Impossible. You, you are just a myth? What just happened? I don't know. Who was that? We have to move fast. Apparently this castle is about to collapse. Vixen, I'm going to use Dragonite to return to Victory Mountain. Let's go. Okay, so what do we do now then? Vixen, I must thank you from the bottom of my heart for bringing the sinister organization down. You deserve this. Okay, go ahead, champ. The Hall of Fame is in the room right at the far. Okay, so we just have to go to the Hall of Fame. Like, heal up. Well, I've just become champion. Oh. Go up here to the Hall of Fame. So we have... This is our team. Now we did it with guys. So, yeah. Welcome to the Hall of Fame. The champion. Congratulations. So, there you have it, guys. We did it. We beat Pokemon Nebula. And um, we'll let the credits roll. And pretty much see what happens at the end. See if there's any more stories, seeing as we just got a mask booth. Like, I'm not too sure what that's to capture. we make this credits go any faster. No, we can't. Um, this game was... I, I enjoyed playing this game. There were a few things I was a bit angry and miffed at, but... The creator of the game did a pretty good job. Like, seeing as it was his first never won, it was pretty good. Um... The story was interesting. I liked the fact that we ought to battle each and every team, the leaders at the end. And yeah, it was quite a surprise that it was Oak that um, was actually the leader. I was not expecting that at all. Though I know the creator said like we need to be level of, like 100 and something, but we managed it. Like, let's go and see if there's anything else to the story. Remember to visit me every once in a while. I don't think there is anything else to the story. Ah! Oh, hi, it's the new champion of Counter 2.1. Such an honor to meet you. I know you're a busy champion, so I won't waste your time anyway. A new professor is waiting for you in the lab here in town, so please pay her a visit. Here in town, there's a new professor. Visiting Dubai. Oh. Well, hello there. You must be our new champion, Vixen. It's so nice to finally meet you. Oh, where are my manners? I'm Alex, the newly recruited Pokemon professor. After the horrific events of what happened in the Temple Mapless Counter 2.0, citizens are in panic in the streets. Who would have thought that the Professor Oak was behind all this? You must be devastated about what happened. Yeah. 
Well, you did a great job stopping them. Needless to say, saving your region in the process. Anyway, on behalf of the people living in Canto 2.0, I must thank you for what you did. Now let's get on the serious part. I know that you have a lot of questions about what happened in Temple, Temple Manifesto. Sadly, I cannot answer all your questions. However, on the bright side, we made a discovery ever since you became champion, with the duplicate the same portal that was in Temple Ma Manifesto. My colleague and I were working on the portal for eight months, and finally we succeeded in making a portal to Arceus' dimension. My colleague is waiting for you in Dragon Town. He already opened the portal for you. And one last thing, Lance came by and told me about something called the Ultimate Challenge. I don't know any of but I guess if you go to the Pokemon League, or right up uh, to the next game in pause, you'll find two rooms for challenges. One of those rooms with the Ultimate Challenge. Okay guys, well I'm going to leave today's episode here. Let me know if you want me to go and catch Arceus, and also let me know if you want me to um, do the challenges. But apart from that, that is it. We have finished Pokemon Nebula. Stick around, guys, because a new game will be starting soon. Catch you guys next time. Bye!